fourth grade. So it's Miss Klingsick here, and I am here to give you just a little quick lesson on profit. We talked about it today in our class, and so since you're going to be working on it at home, and I want to give you a little extra review, I'm going to do just a mini lesson. And first, we're going to start with reviewing what are the three different vocabulary words we talked about today. So let's get started with our first one. All right, our first vocabulary word is revenue, and this is the money you take in from sales. So if you're working a bake sale, all the money that people give you for your cookies is your revenue. Uh, think of if you are mowing lawns, the money that you earn from mowing each lawn, that's your revenue. Our next vocabulary word is total expenses. And we talked about the different types of expenses of fixed and variable expenses on Monday. But when we're talking about total expenses and profit, we're talking about the money you spent to make your product. So uh, get back to our bake sale. All the money you spent to make all of the cookies, that is your total expenses. If we're talking about the lawn mowing business, the gas and the lawn mower that you had to buy to have your lawn mowing business, those are part of your total expenses. Things that you had to pay for to make your product happen. Our last vocabulary word we're gonna talk about is profit. And this is the money you get to keep after paying for all of your expenses. So we pat our pocket when we talk about profit, isn't that a tongue twister? Because that's the money we get to go put into our bank account or into our wallet after we've paid for all of our expenses. So in our cookie example, we first take how much money people paid for us, our revenue, and subtract our expenses that it took to make the cookies, and that's the money we get to keep, our profit. For our lawn mowing business, again, we take our revenue, the money people paid for us to mow their lawn, subtract how much it took us to get the lawnmower and get the gasoline, subtract those two and we get our profit, how much money we get to keep. All right, so let's do an example problem. Let's get started. So let's pretend Mr. K does trombone lessons and he charges $12 per hour. Warning, this problem may help you with your homework. For his lessons, okay? Well, he also has to keep in mind that he has to buy music for all of his students. And let's say each piece of music that he needs one piece of music for each lesson is $4. So $12 for each hour. And then $4 per lesson for music. Right, so those are our numbers that we kind of need to think about, think about, keep in mind. And let's say he did a two hour lesson, okay? Two hour lesson. And we want to know how much profit did he make? Well, first, the first thing we need to figure out is how much revenue. So, how much money did Mr. K get paid for his music lessons? Well, if it's $12 for each hour, and he had said two hour lesson, we would do 12 times two, two times two is four. Oops, do you see that? There you go, two times two is four, two times one is two, okay? $24, okay? So in our problem, $24 is our revenue. Well, I know that to find profit, I have to subtract my revenue from my total expenses. So I need to figure out what are my total expenses. Well, he has a trombone to teach the kids on, all he really has to focus on is that $4 per lesson for music. So he spends $4 every lesson to teach his kids. So that is his total expenses. So I'm going to do $4. Okay. Well, then to find my profit, I'm going to do 24 minus 4. Well, I can do that in my head, but 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. So that means Mr. K brought in a profit of $20. Oh man, sounds like he needs to take me out to dinner, doesn't it? Ah! All right, so we have had a chance to go through all three vocabulary words that deal with profit. And we've also had an opportunity to go through an example problem together. And so the biggest thing that you have to remember when you're figuring out the profit for a problem is first, what is the revenue? How much money was brought in minus how much money it costs to do that product or do that service, and then minus those two and you get your profit. How much money gets to go in your pocket? Remember, profit, pocket. All right, 
Y'all are awesome. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow and I hope you have a wonderful week.